this is about why kids love communism. And my grandfather loved communism. Aged 18, he joined the party and he was then conscripted during World War I. And he refused and went to jail and spent two years as a political prisoner starting in 1916. That was halfway through the war with a lot of bullets yet to be fired. Uh, one of them could easily have killed him. So I wouldn't have been here uh, if, without communism if he hadn't been a communist. So for some people, a communism is a debate, but for me, it's a lot more than that. And communism still appeals very greatly to young people, as it did to my grandfather, because it's perfect and simple and logical. Share everything, be nice to each other, it's obvious. It's like this beautiful, magical sphere of clarity travelling across the heavens until it touches human beings uh, when it pops like a bubble. Communism can't survive first contact with a human being because it expects too much. Communism expects us to behave at the very highest pitch of moral excellence all the time. Uh, and if one person lapses in the tiniest degree, then everyone else says, well, he's broken his promise, I will too. And the system fails, it can't handle normality because normal people don't want to share everything and be nice to each other all the time. We want to cheat. We like cheating, and capitalism allows us to cheat. And it's honest about cheating. Cheating is capitalism. You sell something for more than it costs you. But the market is full of sellers, so each seller can only cheat a little. And the seller who cheats least does best and gets the most customers. And the seller who cheats most does worse and gets the least customers and loses. So there's an internal pressure to cheat less, to lower prices. It's a clever system. Uh, it allows cheating, which the individual likes, and it minimises the effect of cheating, which society likes. And communism can't match that. Communism, unfortunately, appeals to our higher nature, which we have very little of. Capitalism appeals to our lower nature, which we have in abundant supplies. Uh, and we know this because everyone's been a communist in a shared house, a student house perhaps, which is always a very unstable setup because it can't deal with reluctant participants. One person in the house breaks the rules by doing coke instead of the washing up, and he has to go, it's the only solution. If he stays, he makes fools out of everybody else, and he tempts them to do drugs uh, instead of the washing up, and the setup fails. So the commune has to evict the reluctant participant, and if it were a communist state, that would mean a prison camp or execution. But uh, capitalism has a very different attitude to reluctant participants. It doesn't care. It sort of likes them. Even the ones who want to overthrow capitalism have to use capitalism to overthrow it. They don't have to, but they just choose to. They prefer to. It's easier. And when communists are trying to smash capitalism, they buy leaflets from printers that make a profit. And they book tickets with private coach companies that use big oil to bust their supporters into rallies that are advertised on Facebook. So they use capitalism, and if you use capitalism, even to overthrow capitalism, you're boosting profits and strengthening capitalism, you're a capitalist. So if somebody says, I'm a communist, they're a capitalist who has accessorized a glamorous philosophy in a brainless way. They are just a stupid person in a protest t-shirt that says smash capitalism. But so the t-shirt is capitalist. And what that capitalist t-shirt really says is save capitalism. Uh, and the only person who can't read it is the communist, or capitalist really, who bought the capitalist t-shirt from another capitalist and thinks they're a communist when they aren't. Um, but as I said, uh, I wouldn't be here without communism, uh, and if I could find a good thing to say about it, I would. But I can't. Uh, and there's a bit more uh, on this in my next clip, which is why socialists don't believe in socialism. So uh, subscribe or comment and I'll get back to you and I'll stop waving my hands. <clears throat> and uh, thanks, for, thanks, for, thanks for watching.